and ice for the past few years of my life. Kind of nice to have some foundation under me. For once. Since I'm out here, I might as well do what I do best. and listening to it crack underneath me. It really reminds you how close you are to, you know, things falling apart. It reminds me of all the risks I've taken for all the projects I've done, all the time spent, all the anxiety. If you're gonna do something like this, you have to be transparent, you have to be open, you have to tell your backstory, whether it's good or it's bad. All the successes as you could possibly have, there's all the inevitable potential failures that you're gonna have or you already have. And you can't mask those. A lot of people just want to kind of, I guess, fake it till they make it, which doesn't really work in a lot of ways. I kind of just want to build everything I do on openness and transparency and honesty. And I think that that, if you were going to build a table, when you want to build it out of the strongest materials, the materials that are going to last, that you don't have any questions about, you don't have any questions about where the wood came from, you don't have any questions about if the nails are going to rust, you don't want to have questions about anything that you do. If you were to build a product or offer a service or to simply have a conversation with somebody, you want to have a complete open and honest dialogue in any situation and if you're gonna do like a YouTube channel, if you're gonna start a business or whatever you're gonna do, if you're gonna have a friendship with somebody, I think it's most important to, and I'm leading to somewhere with this, I think it's important that with everything there should be a complete open and honest dialogue about everything. In today's world where you can basically just go on the internet and find everything about everybody and uh, you can go on my website and pretty much find everything about me. I think it's important now more than ever that if you're gonna start something, if you're gonna do something, don't try to be fake, don't try to be fraudulent, be completely open and honest about if you've had a good week or if you've had a bad week and you don't have to complain about it like you've had a bad week, like you're some sort of depressing person. By talking through some of the challenges and the struggles you've had through that week, through that day, if you do happen to face that challenge again, you may possibly be more prepared for it. And the reason I'm getting to that, I guess I'll put it in the terms that I can best describe it. This week I saw a ghost. And I don't mean like one of those floaty in a blanket type of things. I mean like a ghost of my past. And it bothered me from the moment I saw it. And the reason I call it a ghost, the temperature in your body drops, you, everything you were doing, whether it was positive or negative, everything comes to a screeching halt. It's like you can feel this object or person passing through you, and it just, your temperature drops, your mind shift completely changes, and uh, you, it, can, it can ruin your day, it can ruin your week, it can ruin your month. Some people's instances, it can ruin their lives. With all the things that I'm looking forward to, I knew that eventually I was going to take a step backwards. And this week I feel like I kind of did. You see the object, or the person, or the environment, and it just triggers something in you that just basically shuts you down and puts you in a mood and basically sets you back throughout the entire day or throughout the entire week and it's something you constantly think about and while you're constantly thinking about that situation you're not focusing on the other important things that you're supposed to be taking care of and you lose track of everything that you're supposed to be organizing for or getting prepared for and all the other things that you're supposed to be looking forward to and it could ruin your whole day and it did ruin my whole day and I'm not sure really how, what to think about it and I, I'm kind of being vague about what I actually saw or what transpired but that's kind of the point Point. That's that's kind of how I want to portray it to you because the fact is the situation that happened and I wasn't sure how to handle it 
but I moved through it as if it never happened. But I know it happened. I saw it, it was right in front of me, and I didn't tell anybody, I didn't say anything about what it was or what I saw or whom I saw. I just moved through it because I knew it was the right thing to do and I knew I could. Now, do I know this person saw me? Yes, absolutely. Did I do anything about it? No because I knew that if I just kept moving like I didn't see anything, then I know I can continue about my day and get the things that I need to get done. Those things are gonna determine what my future is gonna be. I can't do anything about what I saw. And I'm still not sure about how to be prepared for it if I happen to see these things again. I've never really encountered this situation before in this type of environment, and I'm not sure how I'm going to handle it going forward. I hope I don't have to. Do yourself a favor, do everybody else a favor, and be honest, be open, be upfront about everything Okay, if it's relevant to the story, your story, be open about it because nowadays everything is out there. If you lie about something, if you aren't completely open about something, you can get called out. All somebody has to do is have an agenda and a target. And if they have an agenda and I'm the target and I lie about something, I'm gonna get caught. And it's gonna make me and all the brands that I attach myself to look bad. And that is super important to me that my brands look as open as honest as possible. Even if the things that I've done in my past or how I acted regarding those situations weren't the best way to handle them, because let's face it, we all do stupid shit. We all continue to do stupid shit. Emotionally, those things are still going to affect you. Even to this day, there are things that still emotionally affect me. Do I let them out from time to time? Not really. Do I make myself out to be very emotionally open? No, not really. Matter of fact, you won't see me express really any emotion unless you're, unless you're watching me edit these videos. That is the only time you'll actually see me express pretty much any emotion whatsoever because most of the time, I'm just a stone face. That's why I wear these sunglasses. Not because I want to look like Casey Neistat. If I did, I would have spent $70 on Ray-Bans. I designed a studio, I designed a lab, I have a house, I have everything that I need, but I still don't call it home. This is home to me. No, you can't see the ocean. It's actually over there, but you know, it's not as windy over here still. But I'm over here in my element. This is what I call home. This is what I consider to be my most comfortable environment, where I can be my most open and honest with you, the audience. No matter how small, no matter how big, this is what I guess you can take away from all this. If you were to ever be in a position where you are possibly going to run into your past or run into a situation that could enable uh, past thoughts, past impulsions, past temptations, past whatever, just make sure that you're prepared for the moment. Make sure that you are physically and uh, aesthetically and mentally ready for when that moment arrives, you can handle it with the best intentions, with the best mindset, and that you look your best at all times. There is no time right now to be relaxed as a human being. You need to be at the ready at all times, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. This is not a sweatpants type of society. I don't care what people look like when they fly on Southwest Airlines. I have to be ready for anything that happens to walk through that door, or what door I walk through, and who's on the other side, or what's on the other side, or what's going to be said or done on the other side of that door. That's why I keep referring to these situations as ghosts. Things that haunt you from your past that you aren't expecting, that stop you dead in your tracks, that change the temperature of your body, that change the mindset, they freeze you, they scare you. You're never ready for it. I'm not ready for it. I'm not sure how to react to it. So I come here. I retreat to my favorite spot, the ocean. This is where I come. This is where I'll always come. I don't care conveying these things to the camera. It doesn't bother me any way whatsoever. Talking to you guys, because you guys know that you encounter situations on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis, where you're in situations where you feel uncomfortable, where you see things that tr that trigger old feelings, that trigger old thoughts. You like things that just sort of take you out of your element, that make you feel uncomfortable, and you have to learn to adapt to them on the fly. And then all of a sudden, you're, so, you're conscious about what you're wearing, how you look, what's your weight, what's going through your head, what they're doing and I have to carry these issues wherever I go with whatever I'm doing and I have to power through these moments sometimes and it isn't fun it isn't fun taking the amount of time that I do to come out here and do these things all the projects from all these towns wasting all this gas spending all this time just to build this business that I don't know if it's gonna succeed or not so far I'm on the right path to success and I have to stay the course but I know that I'm gonna run into more of these problems in the future because if I do happen to become kind of big and kind of successful, this is an issue I'm gonna have to come across. And I'm gonna have to answer these questions to somebody, whether it be to a friend or to a journalist. I don't know, and I have to be ready for these things. But as long as I'm open and honest from the very beginning, no matter what happened two weeks ago to what happened four years ago, it'll make it a hell of a lot easier for me and for my audience and for my clients. 
because they attach themselves to me because they have faith in me. They have faith that I'm going to do the work and I'm going to provide as a service and I'm going to be of service to them and of honest help to them. Going out and lying and spinning things in a direction that is completely fraudulent of the, of the services or the products or the person that you're trying to convey, it's going to lead to a huge cliff and you're going to be the one who's going to fall off of it. Now that I'm starting to gain ground in a lot of different situations, I have to contend with the fact that sometimes I'm going to run into things that I personally have to deal with. But this has been on my mind, this has been on my mind since the beginning of this week. And it's been on my mind on the drive over here, and it's on my mind now. And I have to convey it to you because no matter how many times I can fly my, dr I can fly the drone to the edge of the earth. I can film the most wonderful footage of all. I can film the funniest sketch of all time. But if this is on my mind, I can't convey it to you. I can't be open and honest with you, and I can't give you good content. I can't be of any use to you as a consultant, as a friend, as somebody who provides you a good or a service. I'm not of any use to you. That's what I represent, is open, honest, transparency, and sometimes just a little too blunt. Sometimes too blunt for most people. But that is part of my personality, and that's what I'm gonna continue to convey going forward, no matter what. Even if I'm right or wrong, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it doesn't matter about being right or wrong. You have to express an opinion, you have to express a thought, express a feeling, and then move on to the next thing. By starting the dialogue, by me opening up to you and giving you my thoughts on some of the problems that I'm going through as far as the ghosts I've seen or the challenges I'm having, whether it be with this channel or other issues, that maybe you'll understand from a different perspective and that maybe we can help each other. Or maybe I can help you. Or maybe this will help me. But just remember to be at your best at all times. Because the minute you become lazy, the minute you become comfortable, the minute that you think that you can kind of slack off for even a second because maybe you think nobody's watching, that's the moment you get caught. That's the moment you look stupid. And that's the moment you fall behind. So do yourselves a favor. Even if you're being uh, honest about your faults, if you're being honest about your faults, that's a strength. But do yourself a favor. Be ready at all times because you never know in life what you're going to run into or who you're going to run into. But I promise you, no matter what, I will never fake this. I will never be fraudulent. I will always give you my open and honest opinion about the things that I do, the places that I go, the people that I meet, the problems that I run into, the challenges I have lying ahead, and there's plenty of them. But I will always give you 100% effort on everything that I do, no matter what my agenda is. The fact is, I, I helped a lot of people get to where they are now, and I never received a thank you. Matter of fact, I didn't receive a lot at all. And it makes me angry thinking about it. This week was rough. No lie, this week was rough. There'll always be another week though. No place like home.